In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to set the physical inventory on multiple products using a file import. Remember, the physical inventory refers to the quantity of units in stock for each individual product. The physical quantity is not necessarily the amount of units available for sale. On the inventory page, click on the Warehouse Inventory Import link. Download the template from the Action menu. You can download a template as an Excel spreadsheet, a CSV, or a tab delimited file. We'll choose an Excel file type. The template contains the following four headers with sample values. When using the template, replace the sample values with real values. In the Product ID column, enter the item SKU. In the Warehouse column, enter the name of the warehouse where the item will be stored. Enter the physical quantity of the SKU in the third column, and then enter the date and time the inventory was counted into the last column. Repeat this process for all the items in the import. You can set a different time and date for each item in the import. Now save your template. You can also download a template with all the inventory currently in your system. On that template, all inventory will have a default quantity of zero, and you will need to adjust the value for each item in your inventory. Now go back to the Warehouse Inventory Import page and select your file. Make sure that the file type shown here matches the file type that you are importing. When importing, make sure that the Partial Update Type is selected. Selecting a Full Update Type will set any SKU in the system that is not on the file to a quantity of zero. Typically, a full update is only done where you are sure that what was counted accurately reflects the complete inventory, and you want to zero out any other item that is currently in the system. The inventory date and time shown here is the date and time of the import, not the date and time of the actual counting. Both time frames will be logged, but the reconciliation of the inventory will be calculated from the date entered on the template. If there is no date and time entered on the template, then the date and time of the import will be used as the date and time of the actual physical count. Click Import Inventory, and the inventory will be imported into their assigned warehouses. For more information on importing inventory, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.